Come on in, let's begin and dive into lots of free dried goodies. Thanks, Wonka. They're doing things they've never done, hoping that it's lots of fun. Oh, oh, oh they're nerdgins. Hey nerdlings. What's up nerdlings? I'll tell you what, it's been a while since we did a very focused taste test type of video. Say that five times fast. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but we were actually really looking forward to this because something that we keep seeing at conventions and events lately has been freeze dried stuff. Yeah. I'll tell you what, those astronauts got it right. This is the future. The funny of thing food. is, probably all astronauts are like, you guys are insane. We can't stand that food. We're sick of that food. <laughs> and down here on Earth, we're like, this is so much fun. <laughs> it's, it's different when you're on Earth and you can go get a burger afterwards. Now, they are a small family owned crew and they are belting out so many goodies. Homemade classics like your jams, your jellies, your breads, salsa, plus fresh produce, and more. We, however, were lucky enough to meet them at the Route 66 Comic and Toy Convention, where we were drawn in by the freeze-dried candies. We're always looking for new-to-us flavors, so we're excited to give these a try. Now, full transparency, they did hook us up with these. They wanted us to try these, and, uh, you know, if we felt like doing a video and talking about <laughs> them, they were all for that. They did give us these yes. to try, but... I mean, I would happily buy these from them. And also, I have noticed that over on their Facebook page, they do giveaways all the time. Yeah. So, you know, if you're wanting to try something, you know, keep following them, take yes. part and everything. And if you see them at a convention, definitely chat them up. They were super nice, super friendly. We had a great time talking to them and talking to them about all the different stuff they like to try. Right here, we have uh, some Sour Sister marshmallows so these are the sour patch kid marshmallows because they said surprisingly the sour patch kids themselves wouldn't freeze dry for them now we have tried quite a bit of different freeze dried stuff but we've never done a marshmallow all right are you taking one from the top or do you want a specific color i want yellow well, i have some of the um some of the yellow and don't get cheap on me <laughs> but they sound weird and they feel weird too it's like not squishy like a marshmallow. <laughs> well, I'm going for his head so he can't uh, attack me. Cheers. <laughs> oh, it's hard. It basically tastes like a giant marshmallow that's in your cereal that hasn't hit the milk yet. Like if you picked out all the marshmallows before the cereal. I could see that. Yeah. But it's got that really good like lemon flavor because that's the yellow one. It's not as sour. I've never had the marshmallow ones, so I don't know if they're supposed to be sour like Sour Patch Kids. The texture is a little more in mind whenever I think of freeze-dried stuff, so like the freeze-dried ice yeah. creams that you used to be able to get. I personally don't like how hard of a bite it is, um, but that's that's just me. I mean, I don't I don't like like that really hard bite. You know, some people really like that. I firm, didn't expect crunch, so. the hard bite, but you're right. Now that you say that. Remembering back to the 80s when we used to get the freeze-dried ice cream from NASA, it was that hard. I like your analogy of comparing it to a cereal marshmallow because I think that's very on par. Mm -hmm. Like it's The flavor is really good though. I do like the flavor. It's just that bite, but that's more my teeth, so that's just a very like personal thing. Mm -hmm. Should we change it up? Yep, let's do the pickles. Okay. Pickles. Oh, whoa, yeah. <laughs> Let me smell. Oh, man. That is... Oh. Yeah, it, but do another smell. It's that first one that really yeah. zings you. It smells like when you go into, like, an old, like, craft store. We're actually a fan of pickle chips. Yes. You know, like, when you deep fry them and everything. I pretty much like anything pickle. We like pickle beer, pickle juice. Oh, that's right. Yeah, pickle, do. Pickles. Do place I like is. pickles. That is really flavorful. It is super, super flavorful. Oh my gosh, it just gets more and more. But it's good. But that ooh. It's so light. Yeah. The chip itself. Really light, really papery, really chewy. Mm -hmm. Like I'm still chewing it. It is a good If you like pickle pickles, flavor. like especially dill pickles, you will love these. This is like 
in your face <laughs> dill. Honestly, it's a great follow up to like the sweet. Yeah. You know, because it really cuts through that. This would be amazing though, with like a ranch dip or a French onion dip or sour cream dip. All right, you ready to talk about this last one? And this was another one that was very different. That was one thing we liked about these guys is they did different things. This is a fruit roll up with cotton candy inside. Now the cotton candy, they said, is still cotton candy. It didn't change, but the fruit roll up did. So do you want blue or pink? Oh, go ahead and give me the pink one. And these are the unicorn, unicorn horns. horns. Ooh, they're messy. Look, I'm a unicorn. Burp, 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 burp. This is awesome. Look, guys, I'm a rhino. Burp, burp. You're a special unicorn. <laughs> These were the ones we were most excited to try, too, I think. Because it was so different. Yes. That is amazing. That is so good. It's like the texture you want because it's really dry and flaky. But as you chew it, it gets kind of like a... Harder consistency. Mm -hmm. And then that cotton candy on the inside is very, almost like a powder. That is my favorite. That is so it's good. It's like, um, it's sweet, but there's, there's very much a zing to it. I'm a big consistency eater because growing up I had really bad allergies. So my taste buds weren't really strong. So I developed a major texture thing. And I love the texture of this. I wonder if it's more... If it's just me, but yours seems a little creamier. Mm-hmm. I wonder if it's a different flavor. Yeah, because this one doesn't do what that one does. The cotton candy is very powdery. That was a very, very clever treat. Very happy! <laughs> Literally, I've not seen any of these at any of the uh -uh. other booths that we've ever been at of any of the freeze-dried <laughs> goodies <laughs> and very very reasonably priced oh yeah like amazing insanely price. if we see them again i oh, definitely um, will go crazy yeah i'm all in and again they do a lot of other stuff uh we like our jellies and jams mm -hmm. you know you mentioned the brands i love too. dips any uh, kind dips, of those yeah it's the powder that you add to like sour cream or mayonnaise i absolutely love those those are my favorite things when we go to any kind of like craft show or something i go crazy with those things i mean we're in the southwest missouri area mm -hmm. So if you're in the area, keep an eye out at like conventions, uh, pop-up events, you know, maybe farmer's markets and stuff. Best of all, probably follow them over on Facebook. I yes. think they're working on a website to yeah, I think they were doing, keep tabs of I, where they'll be next. Yeah. Keep in mind, you can also order from yes, them on Facebook. Yes, and they will Facebook. ship to you, which is awesome. So if you don't yeah. see them locally, but you are dying to try these unicorns, I'm sorry, yeah. but that was my favorite of what we got. <laughs> Check them out. They're awesome. This stuff is great. I would say... Favorite, second favorite, third favorite, and there's nothing against those. It's just the funny thing is, is these are what drew me to their booth because I love <laughs> Sour Patch Kids so much, and it's like my least favorite of the things that we tried. <laughs> but I feel like with that, that was more just the, the, the texture, texture for yeah. how mm -hmm. the marshmallow came out. I'll be the first to admit, I'm actually not a big fan of the marshmallows in cereals anyway. Well, they're better when the milk hits them because it kind of rehydrates them a little bit. Mm. I'll, I'll let you have mine. Ask her, I buy the boring cereal. Yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, links down in the description below, of course. And please go check them out. Hit up their Facebook, follow them mm -hmm. if you can find them in, in the local area. Otherwise, order mm -hmm. and ship. And I'm serious. When we're, I want to try these in French onion dip. You know what? Nerdlings, freeze! <laughs> Unfreeze! I am going to try it in some French onion dip. Mm hmm That's pretty damn good. But then again, you know, when you order pickle chips but pickle chips at a restaurant, they give you ranch dressing. Mm hmm You can still wow. The dip really mellows it at the beginning, but then it that dill <laughs> really hits you. Gosh, that's good. All right, well thank you guys again so much. We definitely cannot <laughs> wait to see you guys again. And we hope our nerdlings will check you guys out and order some goodies. Yes. All right, let's see if we can finish all these pickle ones in one go. Ready? <gasps> Pickles. Pickles. <sighs> I applaud whenever we like something. Yay!
This is what. Whoops. <laughs> I'm getting excited. <laughs>